Generic greetings and welcome to Vault Insert Generic Numerical Unity because I didn't give it a number. This is the Fallout mod for Prison Architect. The last series we did the Prisoner of War mod and people seem to enjoy it and I'm quite enthused. So I thought we would continue on trying different mods out. Now I've done several in the past. I've done, as I said, the Prisoner of War mod. I've done, hang on, let me just pause it for one moment here because we're about to receive some uh, Vault Dwellers which is something we do not want to do just yet. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we... Um, we managed to do the Prisoner of War mod, which is quite good. We've done the Mental Architect mod, we've done the uh, Imperial Architect, which is the Star Wars one, a couple of times. So I thought uh, we'll go for like some sort of underground you one, and Vault uh, was here. So this is the Fallout mod. It is still in development, so obviously there might be some bugs as we progress on. But as you can see, we've got the workers dressed in these Vault uniforms. It says 88 on the back, but we're not going to make Vault 88. It will be whatever number uh, people go for. Which I'm sure people are just going to spam loads of numbers, so we're not going to, we're not really going to get a uh, consensus on that one, are we? Uh, we've also got uh, bo uh, bottle caps for our overall balance. We've got the uh, Fallout Boy mascot over here. People call him Pip Boy, and maybe that is canon now, but um, he was never originally called that. Pip Boy was a thing on your arm, and he was just the Fallout Boy or whatever mascot. Um, either way, you can see the clocks there. We've also got uh, the reports, which is all changed, so a nice uh, overhaul, at least graphically, and also we've got some renaming of some of the some of the grants as well. So it's still developed. So there might be some issues, especially the way we're going to build it. Essentially, we're going to be making a underground facility. Now, what I've done, I've went to Foundations and then Building Cave. I've uh, actually given some, myself some money to do this. Turned off auto light naturally, and then made this entire area. This is a small map, so what I've done is turned on. I've got a small map, Standard Overseer or rather Standard Warden, which is renamed Overseer, with uh, normal uh, prisoners. Actually, I don't know what prisoners we're going to get, but we don't know whether we've got like uh, low, medium, or high, but we've got male prisoners. I'm going for female prisoners. I would love to do a mixed prison. It would be fantastic, especially for the vault. That would be really, really good, but sadly, we just it, it just doesn't work like that. The game just doesn't support it, and there's no mods, as far as I can tell, that uh, make it work. Um, we've also got uh, the uh, events on, gangs on, the failure conditions on, and weather. Now, I was very hesitant to put weather on because of just how annoying it can be. And also, if you're underground, you not, you're not affected by things like snow and heavy uh, sunshine, really, because it does protect you from those things, from the extremes of temperature. But also, the idea of running pipe work in an underground area, it, it does seem to be... It seems sensible to me that we ha we have that on and we have to at least heat all of the areas and such. Whether or not we'll overheat is going to be a different uh, matter, but we'll see how we go. If it breaks, it breaks, and you know what? Fair game. We'll see what happens there. So the idea is very simple. We're going to be planning, I say underground, but this is obviously one just foundation. It is, after all, prison architect. But we're going to be making a vault. Now, the thing is, uh, by the way, standard construction series format, naturally, so we'll be planning everything out this episode and then building it from here on in. I don't think it's going to be a massively long series, probably only a couple of weeks, because obviously it's a small map but it'll be interesting nonetheless so this will be our cave entrance and we'll have like a some sort of like uh, different area where it's like um, you know it's not exactly uh, in one like shape it sort of goes in and out like so and, you know because it is actually a cave so something like this as you can see and then blah 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 it ends up going to a vault door which will be like sort of I don't know, here, like that. There you go. Uh, vault door is actually three wide as far as I'm aware. Let's have a quick look at our objects and type in vault. And vault door is three wide. Yes, is it three wide? Yes, it is three wide. So that's going to be our vault door there. So we go for objects there. So this is going to be our overall plan and we'll build an entrance here, then we'll have a couple of areas, and then we'll get all of the, uh, well, I was going to say prisoner storage, but well, you know, as I said, the, the term prisoner and uh, vault dweller will be interchangeable, because I'm sure I'm going to mess up by saying one, not the other. So there's our vault door, and then um, the thing is, I'm going to plan it off, um, I was going to plan it off like, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think is about right, and we don't actually have another vault door, we have a another standard door here. And the thing is, making a vault is very, very difficult because essentially, they're all, they're all very different from one another. Like, if you go for a vault in Fallout One and Two, they are very similar. They're all uh, three levels. First level, you have a cave entrance or some sort of entrance where you have a vault door. You have this like decontamination zone, and then it goes in, and we have. Um, we have like a storage area, we have medical facilities, we have a couple of things down here, and then we have an elevator. On the second floor, you have a area for people, which is essentially this. Hang on, this is pretty much what you get, and then it's one, two, three, one, 
two, three, elevator. So these are where the uh, people are. Hang on, I'll just put a couple more extras in. There we are. Uh, so we've got, I know this is quickly rough to that, but I'm showing you what the vault looks like in Fallout 1 and 2 and whatnot. So this and this, or these here are where the uh, people's quarters are either side and it is only a single bed in there for the majority of them so that's eight people this is your elevator and then you've got big loads of pipes either side and then the floor below that you have like there's the overseer's office it's not even an office it's their big chair with the mini guns on it and then you've got like a computer room here and then you've got a couple more computer things here and that goes into another room about there so this is all obviously in one big room and then another one here and then you've got corridor 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 like that and then you've got a big chump there which is the elevator so actually if you look at it there's actually three times as many consoles as there is places for people to actually live in uh, the overseer doesn't have an area where he sleeps and eats there's no uh, catering facilities as far as I can tell essentially the fault the vault in fallout 1 and 2 don't make any sense whatsoever <laughs> In fact, I believe in Fallout 1, there's no way, way there's no like water chip room which has shows you on the cinematics, so I don't know what the deal is with it. In later Fallout series, so your 3s and 4s and New Vegas's, uh, they're very uh, they're not actually on different levels. Or they are, but not you know, most of them are like a couple of levels. So it's very difficult to to design one. So we're gonna go with a bit of a hybrid mix. So Here's our cave entrance, this is our vault area, and then we come into, uh, sorry, this is our like decontamination area, and then we'll come into probably some sort of room where we have like, this will be like a meet meeting, like uh, not a reception, this will be our reception area here, and then we'll have like a storage off to this side, like so. Um, I, I am just making this up as I go along, and it's certainly not going to be all encompassing, it's, it's going to be very inefficient, but that's just, you know, how it's going to be. Uh, actually, what we'll do, we'll probably have the, the this room here go out like so because we do need to be we have to be slightly efficient because otherwise we'll never get this thing fit in so there's our um reception there's our storage area and then we want an infirmary because i say that's that's how it works in uh, the other fallout so you've got an infirmary there you've got storage there uh, we can have a morgue back there if we really want to although to be fair if we we're going to be accurate our morgue would be probably a little side tunnel off on the cave like this and uh <laughs> You just sort of dump them in there, and maybe that's uh, something that we'll go for. We'll do that, like it's like a little side cave, and obviously these would be full of like rats and whatnot. And there you go, there's a little cave, and we can make that our um, our like weird morgue type thing there you go uh, so we don't need that one there so there we are there's that sorted so storage and then we will come down probably probably down like this obviously we've got things like visitation and stuff in the game like i don't even know how we're going to manage that because uh historically you know the vaults stay locked and shut most of them don't even open the ones that do are generally because of a fault or because of their um, because of a, some sort of experiment, like certain vault doors never shut, certain ones would open after a particular time. Remember, these are all made by vault -Tec and are, for the most part, in fact, I think all of them are some sort of experiment. I think there might be one or two control vaults, but otherwise, they're all, like, different, like, weird ones that vault -Tec have come up with. Um... So we can do really anything we want. In terms of, like, people coming from the outside, like the Wanderer and going into different vaults, it is possible. So we can have visitation if we want to, but it doesn't really make much sense, does it? <laughs> but we'll see how we go. So we've got our entrance way here. We've got our storage. We've got our infirmary there. So we'll come down and perhaps, like, uh, along here, like a long corridor and such. And then we'll have a long corridor that will go right down like this. As I said, there's no real design to this one. We're just going to crack on and do pretty much what we want it'll be interesting nonetheless uh, in terms of power we haven't got any power area yet so maybe it would be a good idea to perhaps have a like some sort of power supply but it would make sense to have the power supply being roughly in the center so what i'm do what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have like a actually no do one in the center or on either bottom no i'm trying to get i'm trying to avoid the idea of down being further underground it's not we are on a top down view here so perhaps it would be the it would be more in the center wouldn't it the, the the power supply in fact we could make it directly in the center couldn't we so let's go for a it would be there's 88 so we want 44 there should be 44 so we'll measure that that's 44 this is 44 once more on that side 44 yes so that is the center like that 
and then this side will be 80 80 so we want 40 40 so it should be that that should be the center hang on then we'll just get rid of this and we'll just check make sure that's 40 it is 40 excellent so this is the center um so we'll need uh, actually we'll have overseer's office in the center makes sense to me so we'll have an overseer's office there you go that is our overseer's office and we want i don't know do we really want like a this corridor coming down now well, this will be in another room I'm just going to put that in there because that, that denotes the dead centre of the facility. And then... Let's sort of shrink these corridors up a bit by at least one. Don't really need a corridor here. As I said, this is a lot more freeform than I'm... than I'm uh, normally... than I normally do. Anyway, I normally don't go as freeform as this, but, you know, it's okay. No harm, no foul, really. So we can extend these here. This is going to be just a little extension of the of the rooms. And there we go. So you'll come down a corridor into actually an open area. This will all be open, this bit here. And then that'll be like an overseer area. And then we'll have another area off to the side here, perhaps, which will be a... Well, we need different offices, don't we? We need at least them 4x4. Four four. So 4x4 four four will be that size, so we'll delete that. So that'll be a 4x4. Four four. 1, 2. This is going to cause a massive security problem later on, but whatever. 1, 2. Mm, oh, there's no entrance to that. That's problematic. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Could have a staff room or something. Oh, we do need a security room, so we'll have a security room like that, maybe? Okay, yeah, makes sense. And there we are. Right. So, we have this weed cave, atrium thing, vault door, storage, infirmary, uh, morgue, uh, the... Reception, come along here. This is where prisoners will come as well. They'll have free access to all of this. Not in these rooms. This will be closed off. But um, we've got things like the overseer's office. We've got security. We do need armory as well. So maybe we'll put like an armory back here. Like that. And then we'll have like double, double doors on that. Fairly big armory actually. There you go. And then we'll have... We don't have an area for the... Well, why, I'm thinking, why do we even have that in the center? Overseas office in the center. Do we really need an overseas office in the center? Not really. Uh, this area here will be our... Do we really want that? Hmm. I'm trying to think where we're going to put our... Like, power source. Perhaps. It needs to be a 5x5, five five, which that is a 5x5. Five but then we want to gap all the way around the outside. So that could be a power source. That's what could be of our water and power. Let's put some doors in so we know roughly what we're going for. Doors there. And doors. Doors, doors, doors. Double door, double door. Uh, probably double door. There you go. Just because we can, we're going to shrink this down. This corridor. Because we'll start saving a little bit of space. And same there as well. The whole point is that it's not like it doesn't. It's a bit all over the place. It, like it makes sense when you wander around it and stuff. Like it, it won't be terribly inefficient. It'll have like all the rooms in it, but it'll it'll still it's still a vault. You're, like you're still gonna allow people to walk up the overseas offices and stuff. Not necessarily walk in and steal everything, but it means you're gonna have things like security problems and uh, fights in places where you really don't want them. Things like that. So you know. It'll be an interesting one, this. I think I'm actually going to put the security room just opposite the overseer's office. There we go. So, we've got a couple of things that we are sort of missing. Uh, we've got this as our, our um, room for uh, power. So, power will be a 5x5. Five five. Actually, we'll use objects. Like, there you go, 5x5. Five five. And then we'll have a water pump. Although, I like the idea of having the water pump 
in a separate area because that'll be like um, the water chip. <laughs> That's where the water chip is kept. Um, for if you don't know, Fallout One, which I, you know, I'm I'm old enough to have played Fallout One and Two when they came out. Um, in fact, it was one of the very first games that I lent from uh, from a friend on PC, and I didn't really understand what I was doing, and I just wandered around and killed everybody. And by the time I got to Junktown, as soon as I turned up my karma and my reputation was uh, my karma was so low, my reputation was so high that people would just immediately go into combat and then run away, which was um, an interesting thing. <laughs> Either way. Um, uh, the, the idea for Fallout 1 is the Vault, uh, sorry, Vault 13, um, has a, uh, a water chip that's broken, and the, re and that controls the Vault's water, and you are sent out to go and get it, and spoiler alert here, uh, you either don't get it, and in which case the Vault dies and then game over, essentially, or you manage to get it, bring it back, and then the Overseer says, well done, um, bugger off essentially we don't want you here you know you're too tainted from the outside and we sort of cast out which is why in fallout 2 uh the tribe which is like a royal or something you actually are like the the, the founder was that person uh the water chip i think it was i don't know if it was i think the water chip it's weird i don't know what's in canon now but i i think it was either scheduled to break and didn't have any supplies like, it was either made to break and didn't have any supplies, or it was, um, the, the supplies for water chips weren't sent there, either deliberately or whatever. And, uh, strangely, in Fallout 2, even another bit that's, uh, more dodgy, you d you get random events in them in Fallout, which, you know, you do get in Fallout, near the new Fallouts, but... In Fallout 2, you can go to like a weird area and it teleports you to Fallout. Uh, it teleports you to the vault in Fallout 1 and you actually break the water chip. Uh, so you actually, you, the character you play in Fallout 2 does actually break the water chip in um, certain events, which is really, really bloody strange. Anyway, so back to the game. I digress. So we've got um, the water area here. We will have naturally a heating area. And obviously, we eventually, we do need to work out where people are going to be. But. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll have, this is going to be infirmary, we want a, I think I have a single door there, single door there, we're going to have a single door here, and then this will be an area for people to cook, probably, yeah, we'll have a cooking area here, and it'll go up quite a bit, like that, and then this will be our cooking area, rough design for now, obviously, I'm not, like, really messing around with it too much, this will go along, and then, actually, we'll probably expand it like so, and then up, and this will be our place to eat there you go that'll be an eatery um I, I will change things as we as we go along this is just a rough idea the whole point in making underground is that you don't really have to um be too careful with your with your designs we're gonna have a little bit back here which will be like a toilet maybe uh, i don't know i don't know um see it's weird that these actually come to a head like that no 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 we don't need to do that we don't need to do that like that you know what i don't like what I don't like is that all of these buildings are going together, so it's actually, they're not separate. That's the point. They should be a little bit more separated with corridor. So, perhaps we'll have a corridor that goes up, and then across, like that. This corridor will come along as well. This will come along into here. Hmm... This will be our cooking area. There you go. So just putting a couple more, putting some more gap in, because we can. And then, that'll be the cooking area, which will then have probably some sort of tunnel that goes down into the canteen. Like that. Maybe a bit bigger. Like that. Could even make it bigger as well, but we'll see how it goes. Could have a corridor going to it. Like, there's a corridor and there's a corridor. Which is, like, really weird. Like, this... <laughs> Why would you want that? It, it doesn't make sense, this, this bit here. It really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We could just open it up. Hmm... Could have a random room there as well for no... No, you can't. 
It's not really working out that. It's not doing anything for me. We're going to... A bit of a redesign here. So that's the... That's the area here. That's all the way around the outside. Get rid of that. We'll come back to the canteen and stuff. Let's go for, like, the bunks. So, from the bottom, we'll essentially just have an area... It will be a cell. Well, I guess you could call it a cell block. You could really, you could genuinely call it a cell block, but um, it'll be in the centre, which I believe is that. Let's have a quick measurement. Six and the six. Yes, it is. So you come in here, a couple of doors, and then we have. We could do standard cells. We probably could go with standard cells, but I don't know if that's going to fit. Now, we're going to have all sorts of cells in here. All sorts of cells. I just don't know what sort of size we're talking. Hmm. Could we have a 3x3? Three would a 3x3 three three make sense? We're not going to have, like, the really small ones. We're not going to have, like, a 2x1 a or whatever you can have, or 3x1. That makes more sense, doesn't it? There you go. So this is like a... standard block. Cell block. Big open area in the middle. So what size is that? That is a 16 by 29. The great thing about having this is Fallout is that they really have a, a license to just print and do whatever they want. Like the whole point in it is that they can do what they want. Like the because there's no... Because these vaults were experiments, you could say, right, this is the prison experiment. You know, it, it doesn't, it, you can't not say, like, well, that, that, that wouldn't make sense, because Fallout doesn't make sense. And that's one of the good things about it. You can do what you want. There's some nice blocks, that's okay. They're going to be all the same. We'll have, uh, what if we change that? So that this is a corridor that goes along here. And... Security room. I still don't like that it's next to it. There's a nice security bit. It should be separate. Armory, maybe? I don't know. No, no, no. We'll, we'll fill that in later. So this is a corridor that goes along, like so. And then at the back, we'll have... Um, slightly better cells... Do we really want that? Slightly better ones? Actually, we need a shower. A shower could go along here, perhaps. That would make sense, having a shower here. Having a shower down the bottom. This entire thing could be a shower at the bottom. Like that. And then, there's your shower. A couple more things like that. And then, I want to put another corridor. That goes up and around, essentially. Entrance there, entrance there. This will be, don't know what room that will be. Could be anything. Laundry, probably. Laundry would make sense. Could even put a cleaning cupboard on this side as well, but we'll see how it goes. Come back to that. So we got three areas for prisoners, vault dwellers. Come down here along, you know, the shower. Shower's actually too big, I know. So perhaps we could... Perhaps we could shrink that down? I mean, we could have it, like, go down and just keep the corridor going. Then have, this is the shower, and then this is a laundry, 
And this is something else. This could be anything. Yeah, makes sense-ish. <laughs> um, so, going back over to the mm, idea of idea of the kitchen and canteen. How do we want this? See, it's weird that these join up to like one there, which could which could open out like that. Not even have a not even having a corridor on it. Just have like that. There's your entrance like that. That's okay. And then we're gonna have a tunnel that comes along back here put something else back there again it might not make sense you might be like why would they do that well it's vault tech they don't they, they, they're crazy <laughs> they do whatever they want they're just daft um i'll have another one in here which will go to another room which will have an entrance like that all double doors you might notice just because that seems to be what the doors are like. I can't click on placing rooms everywhere. There you go. Um, this is weird, odd shape, isn't it? Mm. You could put that in. There's your entrance way. And then a little bit further. Like that, and then this is your toilets that I mentioned. Actually, we don't need it like that. We just need it. Essentially, that. And you have toilets in like that. Toilets in the canteen. Quite a few of them actually. Maybe this is where they test out. This is the vault. This is the vault where they test out laxatives or something. I, I don't know. Um, ugh, that's horrible. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Sideshow Bob standing on a rake noise. Yeah. Right. So, kitchen, canteen. Job done. We have not rooms for like mail room or anything. We haven't got anything like that. So come down to what can be. Hmm. Some rooms here. Actually, we need to make them a little bit bigger than that. Oh, we could just really have something like this. See, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a bal I, I'm trying to make it so that it would roughly be like vault-ish, like it's all over the place. But also, it does need to work still, which is, you know, problematic when you're trying to sort this out. Uh, pathways, no door. Door comes into here. This is another corridor, you see. And then we've got rooms. What sort of size are we at? Thirty-four. Bit of math. Bit of eight, I think. Eight. And eight. Seven. Damn it. Right, so. Uh, for example, chapel, mail room, library, teaching. Could do that. Could do that. Might not do that. Could do that. Hmm. And because we can then be a corridor that goes all the way around like that. <laughs> Again, just really no logic for it. Doesn't know why don't know why we have it. Could do that. Actually don't like it. Gonna get rid of it. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't need to make sense, but I do still don't like it. Do like this. Do like this idea of something around here. This will be tentative, tentatively, very tentatively, some sort of like visitation area, and then perhaps a cleaning cupboard that goes on the outside there. Like it, it, things are all over the place, I know, but that's the point. Essentially, what we're doing, we're just trying to make generic, uh, generic rooms for the most part, like where we can just put anything we want in. 
So, there's a big chunk here we haven't done anything with, so we'll get on to that. Well, let's just have a quick rundown of rooms. So, room... That just says room. Yeah, so room is minimum of 2 by 3 enclosed, indoors, bed, toilet. So there's going to be these ones, right? There you go. Holding cell, we haven't got. Join... No, jail cell for dwellers who commit crimes, we haven't got. Living area... Uh, which is house as many vault as you can. That is essentially a dormitory. We're not going to have that. Dining area, yes, we have a dining area. Kitchen, yes. Shower, yes. And atrium, which is... Uh... What? Minimum five, five, minimum size five by five. A room let dwellers look bask in the artificial light. Ah, atrium is yard. It's a yard, right, okay. No. Haven't got that, which we will put in at some point. Uh, we've got storage. Yes, we have. In fact, we might as well designate that as such. There's storage there. Doesn't need to be that big. We can actually shrink it down if we need to. Deliveries, yes. Offices, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five offices. And sixth, if we put one in here in case we need um, the, what's it called? The psychological stuff. Common room, no. Training room, which is... Oh, trading room, sorry, trading room. Yeah, it could be this. Staff room, we sort of have around here. The exports, no. Chapel, sort of assessment room is elig eligible to leave the vault. Essentially, it's parole, but I don't know if we're going to have that entrance we've got there as well. So, actually, we've got a lot of rooms. Uh, laundry, we've sort of got there. Uh, we've got... Maintenance closet, which could be that thing there we mentioned, which is cleaning cupboard. Classroom over here. Kennel uh, could be this. Armory could be that one. Morgue over here as well as the... Um Oh, sorry, that's going to be security, so we do need a dog area. We've got infirmary, yes. We've got forestry, no, we're not having it. Holotip storage around here. Classroom, yes. Supply room, yes, around here. Shop, yes. A supply room, actually. What's supply room? Sorting desk and table. So what is the supply room then? Is that library? I think it'll be library. Yeah. So, actually, the only thing we... The, the, for the majority of things, we, we've actually got them. I'm very surprised. We've got most things in here. Go back to planning then. And obviously there's an area around here where we don't really have anything uh, set up for it. So this will go along to here. Then along. And then come along. And this will be our atrium. Right. Like so. And then... That could be an atrium. If we really want it to be. Actually, no. No, 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 no. If you're going to have an atrium, something where they uh, get used to sunlight, it would be closer to this side, wouldn't it? So we'll have it like, say, an atrium. Something like that. Our corridor would come along, perhaps, a little bit. And then... Didn't need to be totally square, you know, either. See, atrium, you can have, like, weight benches in as well, so... Could have it a weird size. Mm. Is that about right? Ah, there's no point, you're just wasting loads of space, aren't you? Yeah. There's an atrium. Could have another corridor coming down, but that means that's ah, another corridor coming down would be sensible, actually. Just do that for another corridor. And while we're at it, we'll do that. To be honest with you. There's our atrium. Some more entrance ways there. And then you've got a big bit here that we will definitely section off. Because this is going to be a couple of things. It's actually a little bit smaller, this bit. But... This will be uh, solitary, because obviously you might get some naughty prisoners, and dogs, I think. That's what this will probably be. Something like that. 
Something like that. And if we really want, we can then do that. And have that as uh, four. We can't have that as dogs because it's not big enough. Oh, well. If we want to, we can shift this up by one. So I'll do that. That. Delete that bit. Delete them bits. I just realised I forgot to take some chicken out of the freezer. So I must do that soon. So otherwise I won't be having dinner. Uh, got nothing to do with this. I, you know, just, just one of those things that comes to mind. So these will be our solitary areas. Not very big because we're not going to have a lot of prisoners. This will be our dog area, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, just as long as there's enough room for it. Right, so what are we missing out on? What are we missing out on? Well, we're missing out on slightly better cells, which we could easily put in here. There's no reason why we can't have a, a 4x4 areas, or even f even a little bit bigger. So 4x5, I believe. Maybe, them, maybe these ones are a little bit bigger. We'll do some 4x4s, like that. And 5x5s five like that. Perhaps? Yeah, and then you've got graded cells. And we're sorting that out. Alright, okay, yeah, I, I like the idea of that. We haven't got a room for... What's it called? Um, we've got visitation. We haven't got a room. We are missing out on something. I'm trying to think what it is. I think also this kitchen is too small. So what I'm going to do is that. There you go. We haven't got a common room. Which could, easy, it could easily be the centre bit, to be honest with you. And you put, like, your TVs and phone booths in there. So I think we'll, we'll be doing that. That'll make sense. He says. Hmm. Right. You know what? I think we're going to leave it there because... It's a rough plan. It's a bit cramped. It's a bit more cramped than I thought, but obviously I'm trying to put as many as many things as in as I can. So quick rundown. Vault entrance. Uh, morgue cavey type thing. Atrium vault door thing. Uh, then you've got your reception. You've got an area for your infirmary, as well as your psychologist. Storage. Coming down through several corridors, you can see the corridors run all over the place, which is actually something I'm, I, I like because it's it makes it look. It's like why why have they designed it like this? We don't really know. It's just it is a bit weird. Um, we've got an uh, area goes up to to possibly trading, then a cleaning cupboard. Maybe again, all this is subject to change. Uh, the whole point is that we don't want to like a, a really set plan because it's so all over the place that having that would just not it's just not possible we've got a kitchen we've got the canteen or whatever the fallout version of it is some toilets as well which we might shrink down because there's too many we've got the overseer's office which is obviously in the center which is going to cause a lot of problems we've got all of the other officers security we've got the power supply as well as the um uh, hot water got the water generator in there we will then obviously pump that down here which is where we have our shower laundry next to that we've got a more a bigger security room here this is a, a yard and such so we can put on them goggles and stare at the sun because you know your you, natural light and stuff you're not used to it and then you go in there and you go oh my eyes are burning this this smells of mm, burning eyes don't know what that so I can't imagine it'd be very good. Lots of rooms here for whatever we want. Chapel, um, the shop, things like that. And then we've got essentially the cell blocks, which are different grades. Uh, different grades, And I think that's about it. Uh, have we missed anything out? I don't know. Uh, we haven't got a holding cell, but we don't need one. No. I think we're about right. I think we're about right. If there's something I've missed out, then by all means, that's why I leave this first episode, especially uh, at least a day, so uh, people can leave comments, feedback, and I can uh, look back on it and see what the deal is. But either way, that is our rough plan for this thing. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting one, this. Don't know exactly how effective it's going to be, nor how, uh, how stable the place is going to be. I would like to know what sort of uh, people you get you want inside the facility. Remember, this is Vault Tech built, so you could you could easily say, well, our rationale is we're going to get high risk prisoners because this is a uh, this is where all of the all of the in all of the people all the vault dwellers are actually previous criminals, which I'm pretty sure is already a vault in Fallout. So uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of them one of the Fallout vaults is actually all of the people that turned up had previous 
like li a previous life of crime. That's the idea we're going with, just to give it some sort of logical sense. I think we've settled on that now. It sounds like it could work. It's something vault -Tec would certainly do. So that's the idea. Everybody coming into this vault, whichever number you give it, uh, will have a previous uh, history of crime whether it be low, medium, or high risk, but I will leave that up to yourself. There's the intake, let me know. Comments in the comments, and we will go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.